Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Black Heart is signing black in again, asking you to hit that share button because that benefits us uh, and the message is more important than the messenger. But thank you to those who have hit the like or the subscribe or the share buttons. Um, I am now seven people short of 800 subscribers. Uh, I want to thank every last one of you because you hit that button without me requesting it. And that's a serious vote of confidence, even for those of you that only did so to troll. Not that I even know what trolling is, but uh, you know, I'm an old guy. But to make a long story short, this message is going to be about, um, about a way to execute the wall of silence that is fair and just to both sides. To the young ladies coming up that are going to uh, reach the age in which they become interested in men or just the wallets. Um, I want you to understand that they are going to have the right to ask why is there this mass exodus right now? It's perfectly okay, normal, natural for them to ask that question. Why is there a mass exodus? Because they're going to get older and if we're doing our job, they're going to see that brothers are not <laughs> brothers ain't hitting them up to be fair they have the right to ask that question because that will be the generation that did not start any of these issues they will be the generation that inherited the issues from the elder women when they ask us well what gives most of us need to enact the wall of silence and not really say much of anything a few should um, go ahead and go about the job of answering when they see this question. Now, how do you know which one you are? It's very simple. What kind of writer are you? Because the answer will come in this digital age, mostly in a written form. If you are a good writer, then you go ahead and you answer that question in written form in these uh, social media uh, outlets. If you are a good speaker, then go ahead and do it in a spoken form. If you're good at both, do either one. But what is important is that you do not do it in the form in which you're not that strong of a communicator. If your spelling and your punctuation suck uh, when you write then and you don't know the different uh, spellings of homophones, then leave it alone. Just don't get on the keyboard. Because we don't need uh, illiterate niggas trying to explain this in a written form. If you can write well, but you don't really articulate well when you're faced with public speaking, stick with the writing. If you're good at both, do both. Most of you, most of you though, need to just, most of us, need to just go ahead and go about the business of working, saving, and bouncing. That's it. And don't really explain much of it. Because you see, when regular normal men were unattractive or told they were unattractive, it was not wrong that women had their opinions. The problem was that they weren't told what it was when they were young. And so then they got older and they got used to being by themselves. And a lot of women took issue with that because they got older they did well by themselves. They made money by themselves. And yeah, I don't have to tell you what that meant to a lot of the women. They didn't feel like the women feel like felt like they didn't really need to explain what they like and what they didn't like. They're just going to sit back and wait on some men to figure it out. And they were going to chase those men down. This is what happened. So most of you need to just go ahead and bounce. Don't say much. Leave it to a few guys now, those of you that are good writers or good speakers, go ahead and answer. Let me help you with the answer, though. When the young ones ask, you say to them, you got the right to ask. You did not start this problem. You inherited it from the elder women. Here is the problem, though, and here is the answer. The long, uh, the long story can be summarized in this form. Every standard that your aunt, your mother, your grandmom, your older sister had for men to meet they failed to meet themselves and every deal breaker that they had on their list, they carried and practiced themselves. So all of the things that they did not want in men, they were. 
They did not want short, fat men. They were short and fat, and they wore heels, trying to be taller than the men that they were already eliminating by height. They did not want broke men. They were broke, but they were still always trying to make more to further eliminate the men. They did not want men that uh, did not know um, how they wanted the men to dress. They dressed however the hell they felt like and called it fashion. They simply made themselves impossible to please. That was it. And then they turned around and were not willing to do anything to please the men. And when men came along and said, okay, in exchange for these standards we have to meet to get to you, here are our standards for you to meet, and they balked. And every time we said that something was a deal breaker, they did it even more. So when we said, well, we don't like them obese, they started eating more and twerking with, the, uh, with their obese butts hanging out in public. When we got tired of the attitude, they turned it up, rolled their necks even more, rolled their eyes even more, snapped their fingers in them even more. They did whatever we told them they should not do if they did not want to drive us off and then told us, take me as I am. But we had to self-improve. This is why these young bloods are bouncing. They're bouncing because just like the elders were telling you to do certain things just to show us that we ain't the boss, we turned and told the young bloods, this is what these elders are telling the young women, so bounce. Work on that plan and get the hell out. You're in prison right now and they're the guards. Don't try to enter into a sexual relationship with any of the guards. Your job is to get those freedom papers and get out. And get out into the free world with real women. That's the answer. I hope that one day this won't be true anymore, but I don't, I'm not that optimistic. Uh, I hope that in the meantime, what I've said is a benefit and helps. Blackheart, sign a blackout. Assalamu alaikum.